everyone enjoyed the reptile show and all the footage i got of it um apologies i didn't have better footage this this footage from this week was recorded on my phone camera like i normally record everything on the previous video i posted on wednesday was recorded on a little gopro that i was given and it actually turned out not to be the greatest but i did get lot of, lots of footage so check out the previous video there's a lot more footage than that but um i picked up a couple of things at the show myself so uh first off we have here, we have this little girl here, 
is called Thumbs. And she is my new Sonoran Boa that I picked that I picked up there from D12 Boas and Pythons. Oop. She just nearly fell off my hand. Um, D12 Boas and Pythons was where I got her. Um, great guys. Really nice, really nice reptiles they had. Um, they had two of the two with whoop. Two of these guys, and she just struck at me, me for the first time. Thankfully missed, so I'm going to get her back in her enclosure before she bites me, and I'll be back to you. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave that in the video, just because uh, that was kind of funny, I personally think. But uh, we'll move on. Anyway, uh, I picked up a couple of things from Lucas from Tranches for Sale Ireland, which was awesome, because I got to meet, meet Lucas for the first time. So, so hey, Lucas. Awesome meeting you. Great stuff you had at the show, and... Hope to see you again there next year. Hopefully we'll meet up for some fishing or something between now and then. But we'll see you at the show again next year. Um, so uh, well, I'll start with the the first. He gave me two two freebies. Um, I got he gave me some more uh, Seamorosis stick insects, which I'll show you here now. Um, I still have in this little little tub here, but you can see one of them on the side of the enclosure there. So um, got another couple of them. Which is good because my my ones are actually at the their end of end of lifespan now, um they've laid loads of eggs for me and uh, I'm sure they won't be around for too much longer. They're still laying eggs and stuff at the moment, but I I, I don't think they they're going to live too much longer. But um so it's nice to have some now now between the time that these ones go and 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 my eggs hatch, um he also gave me a free C versicolor, um the Martinique Pinto, um which I'll try and show you now a close-up of so guys this is the the first c versa color i actually uh I, I did i did buy one as well so he gave me this one for free so i got the two two c verse colors but this is the first one now and i'll show you the other one now in a second uh they're both little things gorgeous little yolks my first c verse colors in the collection so uh, i've actually been after these for a while and i missed them last time lucas had them in stock so i'm really happy i get two now so you can see the second C versicolor here, um, the Martinique pink toe hiding around the back of its little piece of twig there. But I absolutely love the colors on these guys at this at this size. They're beautiful. That kind of lovely blue color on them is just lovely at this tiny size. But um, so that was the the first two tarantulas I, I got. What well, one of these I did 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 order and. Uh, one of them was a freebie, so that's the two, the two freebies were the stick insects, the seamorosis, and one of these seaverse colors. And I'll show you the other two tarantulas I got here now. Sorry, three. Three tarantulas. So this one's actually almost impossible to see, but just down there, hiding under this piece of wood, is P. Metallica Sling, um, the Gouty Ornamental, um, which is just such a absolutely beautiful little tarantula like when it's an adult size it's just oh my god the, the colors are amazing i can't wait for this one to grow out for me um i do love getting these guys these sorts of tarantulas as slings to see them go through all the color changes but uh that's that's tarantula number three now so the two c versa color and this p metallica and there's two more then so we have here this is a green bottle blue um I'm not going to try and pronounce the Latin to this one because I am just terrible at some of the Latin pronunciations and this is one of the ones I am just can never pronounce even remotely correct but the Green Bottle Blue is a fairly universal common name so I think most people should know what one I'm talking about here. I will try and uh, stick the Latin underneath here while I'm talking about it but this one is absolutely gorgeous. Out of the, the, the little tiny ones, those four little tiny ones now, oh, this is this is my favourite even more than the P. Metallica to be honest. The colours are amazing and it's a little beast for food. I've fed it once or twice already now in the week that it's been home and it's just a little tank for food. And the pattern on its carapace absolutely is just amazing. I can get that to show up right on the camera there yet. Right on the carapace, you can see that lovely kind of starburst. It is just beautiful. Um, I'm kind of so sick to myself for not having one of these in the collection before now. But... Uh, Oh my god, I'm so happy with this sling. It's one of my favourite of what I came back from the show with. But uh, I'm going to show you the, the biggest tarantula I came back from the show with, which isn't a massive one, but it's a little bigger than these slings. So we have here is an Agenicolata, and again, it's not actually that big. It's 
so if it doesn't jump up my hand when I go near it. But uh, you know, it's it's not massive. It's uh, about four or five, four centimeter lifespan, give or take. Um, but this is this is gorgeous. I love the colors on this one again. The 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 lovely red on the abdomen, and the really vibrant white. Like it really is different. Like I know um, I have two Nando Colorado Velosas, which actually do look very similar to this to the untrained eye. But the white on the legs in these guys is much more kind of defined and there's a bit more red to the abdomen so these guys are actually just that personally just that little bit more beautiful at this uh, at this size anyway um but uh that's that's everything i got from the show now so i'd like to thank all the event the event organizers and uh all the vendors who came to the the ireland's third ever reptile show this year for making an absolutely amazing time this is that that was actually my third, first time getting to go to it i've missed it the previous two years and i'm so sad i missed it the last two years this was amazing and i am 100 percent going to be at next year because the i it just was an amazing time everyone there was so friendly and it just i highly recommend anyone who gets the opportunity next year to come out and check it out it's a really really good time even you know to be honest even if you're not there to buy reptiles it's an amazing time to come to learn meet people and learn about other reptiles you may not know about i there was a couple there i'd never seen before in my life um not that i you know i'm not saying i have a huge knowledge about reptiles i know know about the ones i know but there was there was reptiles there I'd never even knew existed. Um, so uh, it was a really good time. And anyway, as usual, um, I upload every Sunday and try and hit the subscribe button and the notification button. And we'll hopefully see you next week. And again, thanks to the guys from, uh, from, from the reptile show for just putting on an amazing day. Um, see you guys next year. And, uh, See you guys later. Bye.